Alright guys, it is finally time to take a good trip down memory lane when the maps used to look so beautiful and Respawn didn't decide to update the maps every single time by destroying it. I'm looking at you Loba for blowing up Skull Town. I don't care if you have a dump truck, we do not forgive you for that. The OG maps for both King's Canyon and World's Edge are playable right now during this event and I know that majority of you guys do not know most of these tips that I'm going to show you. So without further ado, here are 19 tips for playing on the OG maps. First, let's look at world's edge number one there's a train that moves around the map and with the train has some high tier loot to always get it you want to land at the very back of the train and open the last spin it can range from always giving you a purple armor to getting you gold items and even gold weapons the train is also a great rotation tool for getting around the map very quickly like if you are very far from the circle for example number three you can stop the train whenever you want by going in front there's a panel that you could use to switch it off you can also turn back on the train whenever you are ready number four there are many train stops around the map and each one except for train yard yeah, will have bins spawning out from the ground for you to loot. Number 5. The train cannot run you over and kill you, so do not fear if you are in the way of getting hit. Number 6. In this version of train yard, you cannot climb the middle huts to use the zipline from there, nor the top containers are not accessible anymore from climbing on the roof of this large building, because the height of the top containers are higher. Number 7. There are no geysers in Sorton Factory and the south area of Lava Fisher, so keep that in mind. Number 8. Rotating in this choke is now 10 times deadlier because of this tower. It's one of the best power positions to hold off teams that are rotating from capital and have a long overview of fuel depot but to push a team that is on top of there you're better off going back to the main lobby number nine heat shields actually stay on the train so if you have to go far and you have the train to help you this is your best bet number 10 this step is still relevant in the current version of world's edge and that is that these two bins always contain sniper weapons and attachments with a full overview to snipe people that are in skyhook that's all that i could find for og world's edge and now to go the map that everybody's been waiting for number 11 you know you're going to land skull tongue every single time and die immediately but if you want to have a better chance at surviving you want to land at market or thunderdome first loot up then move over to skull tongue number 12 you could do that or you could land to the furthest point of skull tongue depending on your flight path this lane was the furthest point away from the flight path and nobody landed there this was the only safe spot for me and my duo and we managed to leave the area with a ton of kills and damage number 13 in thunderdome Dome, a purple body shield will always spawn on this platform 9 out of 10 times. Number 14, use mobility legends to take the top of the buildings, the middle buildings very quickly or even the houses around the area. Number 15, to add on to that, always stay on high ground, the rooftops, the buildings to gain advantage over your enemies when fighting. Number 16, the hills around Skull Town and the big skull in the middle are all playable areas that you can get on top and stay on. It's a great place to get any line of sight on enemy that have very far or as a good end game location to set up and prepare to win number 17 if you are in the bridges area whatever you do do not get yourself caught in that river it is a death trap and you will never recover number 18 this tip is also relevant in this version and that is this house nine out of ten times will always spawn one piece of high tier loot it could be anything gold or just the best loot to give you as a solo player and 19 the very last tip that i could give you the best for last is to like this video and subscribe to the channel to ensure you slaughter all of your opponents and win every single match do it just please do it just do it do it and well that's the whole video for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed it all in the next video that i really want to run through all of the pois that most of you all never got to experience so if you want that comment down and let me know i hope you all are doing great keeping it 100 and i will see all of you all in the next video later